Hello, what is up, party people? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I thought today I would film a kind of day in my life as a postgraduate student um, at Oxford. So as a reminder, my name is Kat. I'm currently finishing up a master's in neuroscience before starting my DPhil, which is the fancy Oxford way of saying PhD um, in the fall in the lab that I'm working in right now and we don't really have many lectures at the moment it's literally just like research day in day out so yeah that is what I will be showing today because I feel like that is actually quite interesting um, right now it is the morning I'm actually late so it's like 9 30 or something. I typically like rock up to lab between 9 30 and 10, but you know, whatever. Um, this is my breakfast. It's just some oats with banana, uh, cinnamon, nuts, not nuts, seeds. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's so confusing to me right now. I also have like a very slight cold, so that's just what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to lab. And yeah. Also went a little cray yesterday at Tesco when I was going with a friend and I just like bought a ton of plants because so I did this huge plant order um online from a place called Hortology. And I will insert a clip of me filming the unboxing in just a second. Um and I had bought several plants that I wanted to take to lab with me. But turns out I really like the way they look kind of here all together. Um, and so then I bought some more at Tesco. They're actually really affordable and cheap. Um, so I will be bringing these guys to lab today because our lab is really sad. We'll see <laughs> if I can film. Um, I may do like silent filming in the office portion of the lab. So like, yeah, he's gonna be there and I don't wanna like, <laughs> should be like, cat, what the fuck is this? Um, yeah, okay, so let me eat and then we can skedaddle over to lab. So, I'm delayed. <laughs> But, um, it is already 10, and I should be in lab by now, but someone else is using the bathroom, and I need to brush my teeth, so, yay, communal bathrooms and student accommodation, um, so hopefully they'll be out soon, also I should consider keeping my toothbrush in my room, that might be smarter. Look at this. I don't know how much you can actually see, but I'm walking in uni parks. Thankfully, I live at one side of uni parks. My apartment is at the other, so all I need to do is cross. I'm using morning commute through nature. Yay. So me and my Saints for his bag of plants made it. I always use the back entrance. And then I use the elevator like a cool kid. I'm sick. In other words, we'll cough for 10 minutes straight after climbing those stairs. Okay, so, gotta use my card. Well done. This is awkward. My cards are at the back of my phone. Boom. Okay, so next up, well, this lighting is terrible, sorry, is um, drop off my plants in lab and then go get my mice and check on them.
outside in the kind of changing area. Um, I have my mice. They're in a little carrier bag. Um, and they're in that for two reasons. First, it's dark in there and it, that's calming for them. It would be stressful if we would just like carry them without. And also, um, it's a closed bag, so it prevents the spread of allergens outside because there might be someone walking around a normal department and may have a severe allergy to mice, rats, anything like that. Yes, this does leave beautiful marks on my face. It feels so beautiful. I'm gonna prop you guys against lab coats. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, so every time you enter, um, you need to put everything on, and every time you exit, you need to leave everything here. That's to try and prevent as much spread of allergens as possible, as well as obviously taking things from the outside in for mice that might make them sick. We want to keep them happy and healthy. Um, it is a big waste um, of single-use plastic, but this is like necessary. Um, so it's the only thing that is okay. And I had to sign out my mice um, with like all our license numbers, my personal license number, um, where they're going, how long they're going, what they're going for, all those kind of things. So um, it's actually quite, it's like very regulated to make sure that the well-being of the animals is most priority. Okay, going down to the lab. Hello new lab um so this is the lab where we actually um like the lab from my group where we do um my experiments and sorry i'm filling up a syringe with water <laughs> um, right now because i need to top up with water so um i'm not doing anything concerning with my children by that I mean my mice, but let me see if I can put you. Okay, so it's literally just the syringe water, and I am just topping it up. So it is at the 10 millimeter mark. Um, I just have this beaker of water, just so that we know for each mouse how much they drink, because um, once they get out of the box and they didn't drink enough, obviously I need to give them more water, so that would mean that I would have to separate them in what I call our hydration cage, <laughs> um, where they're just by themselves with access to water, so they can just have some, yeah, glamorous life of a researcher at Oxford. <laughs> okay, so that is ready. Yeah, labs are really not glamorous, like, what is this? Why is there a vacuum? Why is there a mop bucket? <laughs> It's, it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit of a mess. Like, why is that computer just open? No one knows. Um, this is the problem in several different groups that use the same lab. Chaos occurs. <laughs> Toilet paper, you know. Keeping it classy. Alright, so um, I need to fire up my computer in my setup, and I'll be back in a second. Yay, cables. Hello. It is now the afternoon. It was about three. Sorry, I thought my supervisor was just about to walk in while I'm filming myself speaking. <laughs> but I turned around now so I can like see if someone comes in. Um, yeah, and so I practice with my mice today. They're just, I think I mentioned before, just kind of like learning uh, right now how to, like, they're learning that being in this is fine. It's not gonna hurt them. Um, so I finished training with them and now I'm on to fixing a ton of things that aren't working and I'm really frustrated um, because it's like a bunch of electrical things that aren't working and I'm not an engineer, an electrician, anything relating to that. Like I study cells and things and so, but my supervisor was like, no, like, you can't get someone to come help you that is like an electrical engineer. You need to be able to figure it out yourself. This is what research is. And I'm like, well, how am I supposed to figure it out myself if I literally don't even know, like, <laughs> what these cables are? Yeah. Sorry for the really bad lighting. I don't even know what this is. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really frustrated now. Whatever. Oh yeah, and maybe I can briefly show this. So this guy, this setup stopped working. It was in here, so I had to lift the whole thing out, which is really heavy. <sighs> but yeah, so I fixed one thing, and now I have to figure out why the rest isn't fucking working. So, yay, me. Alright, that is all for now. Hello, it is now 6 something, 6.10 or so. Um, and I am finally back in my room, so after a really frustrating day in lab, I also had to go see the GP, um, and now I'm back, and now I'm going to home little dinner at my college, which is Teddy Hall at the moment, um, and yeah, so I'm going to get ready for that and tell you a bit about what the formal hall is, and then take you with me so you can see as well. Okay, so, uh, I just picked out the dress that I'm going to wear. It is this, like, flowy, um, mid-length dress from Coos? C-O-S? Whatever it's called. Got it on a sale. Um, yeah, and uh, technically I should steam it, but I'm not feeling it. Anyways, um, so formal happens at every college in varying kind of frequencies. Um, so at Teddy Hall, we have formal twice a week. Other places like Christchurch and I think John's as well have formal every day. Um, it really kind of depends. St. Anne's, where I was last year, had formal only a couple times a term, maybe four or so. I'm not sure. But yeah, anyways. Uh, and basically, it's just a schmancy dinner, three-course dinner. Um, sometimes there's also, like, cheese. Yeah, I guess that's four courses. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, and you have to wear, like, formal clothing, meaning for men, that usually means a suit. Uh, women, most women wear dresses, but it has to be, like, formal. Um, not ball gown, but formal. Um, and then, for most colleges, you also need to wear your gown, um, which is the gown that you matriculated in, or the gown of your highest previous degree. So because I already graduated with a master's degree from Oxford, I have the fancy master's gown, um, which I'm going to wear because it is much fancier than the typical commoner's gown. Um, but I will show you both. And yeah, it's just like fancy dinner. There's a high table, which is actually still a tradition from the Middle Ages, um, where the like most important people would sit a bit higher than everyone else. And, like, you have to stand when they come in, and there's a prayer. Not all colleges have the prayer. It depends. Uh, and then you get to sit down, and there's, like, port at the end, and you have to pass the port, like, to your left or something like that. Uh, <laughs> it's all a bit goofy. Um, there's certainly old traditions, but I think they're quite fun. Um, oh. So let me put on the dress, some tights or something, and find some shoes well yay probably won't be putting on too much makeup just because i'm not feeling it we'll see all right okay so i'm trying my best with the lighting it's still not very light but i think you can see better i already tried doing this once and it didn't quite work okay so this is an example of what you can wear this is just kind of like a satiny mustard uh button-up shirt and a meaty um yeah, that's not very visible, but a meaty satin skirt. Um, what I'm wearing on top is my gown. It has fancy sleeves. Yes, this is like the gown that you get to wear if you have a master's. And it is like more dramatic because it has sleeves uh, <laughs> than the typical one. So I thought I'd wear it. But yeah, and then for shoes, well, don't look at my mess. Okay, cool. You can't really see those either. But I'm wearing like um, kitten heel pointed uh, shoes. I think I might put on some red lipstick for dramatic effect. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Opted for some makeup to make it dramatic. Um, let me show you the complete look before I go. 
JK. You still can't really see, but that's me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pick up my friend who also lives in this accommodation and we're gonna go. So I just messaged my friend and told her I'm gonna be filming tonight. And if I can film her coming out of her room, let's see if she says yes. I love it. Winter essential. I love it. I love the lipstick we're matching today. Yay! Sorry, I'm filming for the YouTube. I don't know if you're ready or not. But it's happening. You're on it now. here quite early so we actually had to stand outside and wait where the coats are um, before we were allowed to go in because they were kind of finishing up from normal dinner here is inside the hall that is the high table so this is Katie <laughs> she is showing us the proper etiquette <laughs> of we have to stand and we cannot yet sit until high table comes and the Prayer is set, yeah. And then high table over here sits, and then we sit. It's important. Don't think. <laughs> this was my veggie slash vegan starter. This was my main dish, which was like Greek themed. And to show you, so that's mine and that's Katie's. Katie had lamb or something like that. <laughs> This was Katie's dessert, which is the normal one, and then because I'm vegan, I got the best of all, <laughs> which is fruit. I don't know why it's the wrong way around. <laughs> Back from formal, shoes in hand, bought some pairs of Tesco, now I'm to my room. Naturally, I forgot to film an outro, and it's now two weeks later when I am finally getting around to editing this video, except that now I am in Germany at home due to the coronavirus pandemic um and making this quick video from my ipad but yeah anyways stay safe stay healthy stay indoors um i will make a video on corona soon <laughs> and by soon i mean i will film it soon and probably upload in like a month when i remember but yeah <laughs>